Now, before we take a look at the features of the trade copier and how to use it, let's take a look at how to install it. Once you've made your purchase, come right over here to Ninja Trader, come over here to Tools, Import Ninja Script Add on, click on that. Then it'll take us to a download folder. Just simply click on the Replicano download. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, in order to find where the trade copier is actually lo located, go right over here to the new tab. Scroll on down. You'll see where it says Flowbots Replicanto, and that's going to open up the trade copier. Now, before we jump into the trade copier, if you guys trade with Apex or My Fund and Futures or any of the other prop firms I trade with, and you want to make sure you get the best deal, use the link in the description box down below. Now, if you guys are joining me during my live streams, you guys know I use trade copiers as a copy trade across multiple a prop firm accounts. Now, the trade copiers that I've used is going to be Apex Trade Copier and the Replicanto Trade Copier. Now, for this example, I'm going to show you guys Replicanto's Trade Copier. Now, it's going to be very simple. One, we need to pick our instrument on the side. Now, for this example, we're going to go ahead and trade this on the NQ. So I'll go NQ right there. The leader account. So the count on the left, I'm going to make as the leader. You can see right here, it says SIM 101. It's right there. Now, if we put it on exact quantity, that means it will copy into the other account with the same exact quantity. Now, for this, I'm going to go ahead and go SIM account number three right there. Then that's all I really have to do. So now, if I come right over here, and let's say I have this ATM on right here. I hit buy market. Boom. You can see both orders are filled on each individual, right? Here's the leader account. Here's a follow account. Now, if I hit close, they both close out. Now, if I go ahead and I, and I do this once again, I'm going to change this ATM. I hit boom. I do it once again. I buy. I can move that order up. You see the more order on the right-hand screen moves up. I move that order down. The order on the right-hand screen moves down as well. Now, if you notice on the screen on the right, since this is the follower account, if I was to simply close this out, the leader account is not affected. So let me show you this again. If I go ahead and hit buy, both accounts have orders. I'm going to go ahead and move my orders around. Now, if I move this order on the right-hand screen, meaning the follower account, it does not affect the leader account. If I take this order and move it here, you can see it will replicate that on the, on the follower account. Keep in mind, this is the leader account. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out for, for the demonstration purposes. Now, if we come right over here to the trade copier, then if we go down here to ratios, right? Now, let's just say that in the follower account, I want a ratio set. We can change this. We'll put it at 3.0. So what that means is every time I place a trade with one contract in the leader account, in this case, SIM 101, then it's going to go ahead and fire off three contracts in the follower account. So now if I come right over here, I hit buy market. I'm going to move these orders out of the way just so we can see. All right. The leader account only placed one contract on the right hand side of my screen. What do we have going on there? It placed three contracts. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to close this out. So now what about if we want to go ahead and trade, for instance, the leader account has one contract, but we want the follower account to actually trade micros. So maybe you have a, a main account, then you have smaller accounts that you want to trade with micros. Well, if you click right here where it says cross order, I'm going to simply click that right there. Now you can see it switches it to MNQ. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move this chart right over here to MNQ. And actually, I'm going to show you I don't have to do, do that initially, all right? So if I hit buy, I move these orders around, you'll say, well, Mike, it didn't copy on the right-hand chart. Well, that's because this is not set to the MNQ. If I go ahead and put this on the MNQ right now, and we will quickly see that we should have orders on that screen. And here we go. They match up identically, all right? So if I close out over here, boom, it closes it out. Now, if I want to go ahead and change the ratio, right? So I want to change the ratio in which it's going to follow into the micro accounts. Now, I can change this ratio to whatever I want. Let's say I wanted 20 contracts for every one contract that I trade. I simply put 20 in right there. Then I come right over here. I hit buy market, and I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And notice I have one NQ contract over here, but I have 20 micro contracts on. Now, that doesn't really make sense. It would make more sense if you wanted 20 micros to probably, more likely than not, go ahead and just put, you know, the ratio at two and do two NQ. Now, I'm going to close this out, but I want to show you guys something else. If we right-click on the screen, then we come down here to properties. There's a whole list of properties that we can check, and some of this is fail saves, all right? So, essentially, if the accounts become out of sync, then it's it can either cancel the order, flatten the position, whatever, to try to help the accounts maintain that they are in sync. Now, let me show you an example of accounts being out of sync. So what I'm going to do is move the copier out of the way. 
And let's say we hit buy market over here. All right, I move this order around, but then let's just say that I hit close over here, but the order, we still have an open order here. We're still in a trade. One thing you'll notice is this actually has yellow right over here, right? Telling you, hey, they're out of sync. Now, one of the cool things, if you ever get into a pinch, we can always hit flatten all and it will flatten every position, all right? So if you have 20 accounts, 20 Apex funding accounts like I do, and you get into a mesh, you need to exit all the positions, just hit flatten all and you will be out of all the trades. Now, let's talk about another feature. This is called pooled quantity and you wanna pay close attention. Now, in this example, I actually have two other SIM accounts basically linked for this. And what this is gonna go on to say is the leader account, let's say I got four contracts in the leader account. Then what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to distribute four contracts across the other accounts. So since I have two other accounts selected, as we'll watch down here on the position tab, if I go ahead and hit buy market, now we can actually see, all right? We can see the main, the leader account put four contracts on, but then in each of the two follower accounts, each of those accounts only have two contracts. Now, this is probably not a feature I will most likely use, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. So let's say you have five other accounts and you normally trade five contracts in the leader account, then you can have it where each of the other five accounts only trade one contract if you desire to do so. Now, the next feature that we're gonna look at within the trade copier is gonna be the method called pre-allocation. We can see right over here, it brings up this other area where it says pre-allocation. And essentially, I'm gonna put three contracts in one account, four contracts in the other one. However, the leader account, which is SIM 101, is gonna be only trading one contract. So SIM 101, I'm gonna go ahead and hit buy market. I'm gonna move these orders out of the way. And notice what we see, all right? Over here, we get four contracts. And we can see right over here in the positions tab. So with the allocation, we put three contracts in one account. We had the other contract trade four accounts. So if you have pre-selected different amounts that you'd like each account to trade, meaning position sizes, this is a very easy way to do so. Now, I also wanna bring it to your attention when you have an open trade right here, you can have the P&L on the trade if you would like, but if you wanna close out an individual, just one position by itself, and you don't wanna open up a new chart, we can simply close out the whole position right here by just clicking X, boom, closed out. Click it again, boom, closed out, right? Very, very simple. You wouldn't still have to come over and manually close out the leader account, because we can see over here, we have yellow lights versus green. This is telling us that the accounts are out of sync. So for this, I hit close, and now you can see they reflash green, which means the accounts are back in sync, and we can continue to go ahead and trade. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Replicano trade copier and topics that I did not cover, you can click right on Flowbot's website, go to products, click on Replicanto, and then as you scroll down, it'll talk about all the other features, ATM, trade copier, follow guard, export, import, stealth mode. It'll give you a breakdown of all the different features.